morning everybody. It's day three and I don't know about you but supplies in my house are already really low especially bread. So this morning I thought I'll just wake up and just do a quick and simple soda bread recipe that everybody can enjoy. So the kids aren't here right now they're in bed but they're going to wake up to freshly baked bread. Now the first thing we have to do is measure 350 grams of plain flour. Now with this recipe, I am using simple things. I'm not trying to do um, bread flour at the moment. I'm just using what most people have in the house really. And I'm using plain flour. to do this step because it makes the bread nice and fluffy. Oh yes, don't forget to wash your hands, <laughs> as my children will tell you. sifted flour you are adding one and a half teaspoons of salt and these are baking teaspoons here that's one teaspoon that's a half and you're also going to add one teaspoon of bicarbonate or soda. Not baking powder, bicarbonate or soda. Right, now the key ingredient is to use buttermilk. Now, for those who don't have buttermilk, a readily readily available to you. Um, buttermilk is very simple to make. It's made with um, adding vinegar or lemon juice to fresh milk. So I'm using 10 ounces, which is roughly 285 millilitres of um, buttermilk. So this is made with 285 millilitres of fresh milk and I have added two and a half tablespoons of vinegar. Mix it together, let it sit and jam together, and there you have your buttermilk. So you see all that goodness inside. So now before you use your washed hands, just use your spatula and give it a quick mix. Let it begin to form a dough. Now why it's called soda bread is because the bicarbonate or soda begins to react with the buttermilk and that gives it all the nice lovely air pockets and bubbles you find in the bread. Okay, so as it's nearly formed, flour and your milk desk. So I like to do that for Hollywood <laughs> Sweet -sweet. So Make sure you get everything in all the lovely bits. to knead and work it all together. And 
and if it gets a bit sticky you can add more flour And so use your hands to roll it into a ball shape. to also double the quantities because in my African household this is not going to last much long <laughs> but it's just a quick treat for them to use in the morning now pop it onto your baking tray that has baking powder on it like so and then use a knife to score your so you just make a diagonal incision one way and the other way like so let the dough rest for 10 minutes and then afterwards Put it in a preheated oven at 200 degrees centigrade for roughly 30 minutes. Once cooled, remove it from your baking tray and put it on a cooling rack to cool. Look at that. This bread is so nice. It's got such a nice crust to it. And look, no soggy buttons. <laughs> I cannot wait to lather this up with butter. Enjoy!